Hi everybody. Uh, today we are talking about open scene projects. Now, what an open scene is, is it is a scene that is written without any context. Um, if you look in the open scene scripts link in the open scene project module, you will see some great examples, one of which you will be using. Uh, the reason that it's written without context is because we want the actual dialogue to be as simple and as unobtrusive as possible because your job as the actor is to make it fun and interesting by giving it a little bit of pepper, by telling us who our characters are, uh, where we are, what we want, all that good stuff. So what you are going to do is you are going to figure out all of those things. Our who, our what, our where, and our why. If we can answer these four questions about our scene, it's gonna be a good scene. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to figure out our who. In the scripts, the characters are presented as A and B. That is the only information that we get about them. So they can really be anybody. What I need you to do is I need you to make me a list of five possible pairs of people that this could be. And when I say pairs of people, I don't mean like Tim and Joe or uh, Harry and Sally, because while having names is great, what I'm looking for more is the relationship between the two characters. So think other than names, think things like parent and child or teacher and student, things like that. What you want to do is you want to think about kind of the job of each person, what they are doing in the relationship, and then more importantly, how does this affect the way they speak to each other? Because you, person watching this video, speak differently to your parents than you do to your friends, right? Or you speak differently to your teachers than you do your parents. Or maybe you speak differently to your best friend than you do just like a casual acquaintance in class, right? Things like that. We wanna think about how that relationship affects the way we talk. So I'll give you some time to think of five different possible relationship pairs. Once you've done that, we will move on to next steps. Welcome back. All right, so hopefully you have picked your relationship between your two characters by now. Um, I, for our example, have decided to use teacher and student. I think that is a relationship that both of us are probably pretty familiar with at this point. Now what we need to do is we need to figure out our where. We know who we are, we need to know where this conversation is taking place. So our where needs to be a place that makes sense for these people to be having this conversation. Like for a teacher and a student, it would be weird if this conversation was happening in either person's home because I don't know about you guys, but I never want to go to your houses and I truly genuinely hope that you don't want to go to mine. So we need to think of locations that make sense and are appropriate for our relationships to have. So for teacher and student, I feel like the most obvious one is a classroom. You'll notice that I did not say school, but instead narrowed it down to classroom specifically. The reason for that is because a classroom is something that we can build on stage. If I told you, all right, we're building a school on stage. A school is a lot of rooms and it's a lot of different places. It's very big and it's gonna be really hard to boil all of those places down to their essential elements and then put them on stage. So we kind of have to go for our most specific things like specific rooms of a larger building. So you wouldn't say house, you would say bedroom, things like that. Make sense? Cool. So we've got classroom. Another place that this could take place is maybe the hallway or the gym, not gum, but gym, or maybe like the office possibly, hopefully not. So we've got all these different options. Now what I need to do is pick the one where I want my scene to take place. I personally, as a teacher, am most comfortable in my classroom, so that's what I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna get rid of all of my other options, and that will be what I will pick. So classroom will go up here, and then we will move on to next steps.